This is on race mode. This is on casual walk mode. Mumbai rains aren't a joke for real though. It's been raining non-stop for about a week now. I had to wear my Crocs to the gym. These Crocs I think are like 11 or 12 years old easily. I think I got them in 2010. But man, they're so beat. I would only use them to like walk my dog and all of that stuff. So, but today it's become essential. What's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel if you are a returning subscriber and if it's your first time, thank you for stopping by as you can tell or maybe you can't, I just woke up and washed my face because I just wanted to get down to this unboxing right away. It's raining in Bombay and like the subject says, it's a pair of Crocs and this is probably the first Crocs, can't tell if it's the last but the first Crocs video for sure that you're seeing on my channel for as long as I've run it. Now, I had to throw on my, oops, sorry, didn't notice that. I had to throw on my fresh Carhartt workwear t-shirt. This is not a work in progress, it's a workwear t-shirt that I picked up from Capsule. And I got another one in this nice sand colorway. And like I was saying, I just washed my face so you can see those droplets of water so anyway I usually walk to my gym that takes me about 15 minutes and I have my ultra boost on that I use for my runs uh, I then switch over to my workout shoes but then it's been raining so much in Bombay that I had to pull out my Crocs and I did a poll on Instagram asking you guys if I should get a pair and for that two percent man I can't disappoint two percent I had to do it for you guys And there you have it. Place this order on Super Kicks. Let's rip this on a new hole. I'm sorry, I meant let's just unbox this. So in the meanwhile, if you guys haven't subscribed yet, please do. The subscribe button is right down there. And at any point of time in this video, if you like what you see, give this video a thumbs up. Still the best unboxing knife ever. And this thing is hella sharp. Hella sharp. Okay, so I don't, wow. Interesting. This comes in a different kind of a box. Like I said, my Crocs were like 11 years old, so I don't even think I recollect if it came in a box at all. And I picked it up from a store at the mall, but this is interesting. And as you can see from the box, it's the Beams collab with Crocs. I got the Army Green, which is in a US 9, UK 8. Isn't that right? So let's unbox this i'm quite excited actually huh manufactured in vietnam all right all right we have the invoice and a sticker from super cakes uh, keep that aside nice packaging really you know i wish all our sneakers came like this too this is for real far better than i thought it would look let me get both the pairs out well, I don't know why, but like you can tell, I've been drawn towards all these moss green, olive green, or desert and sand kind of colorways. Earthy tones? Do they all come under earthy tones? And when I saw this, I fell in love because it's got such a utilitarian look about it. You know what I love about it? It's got these orange hits on the outsole, you know, that looks just the right amount of subtle when you're wearing it, it will still be visible. Just that fair bit. This sole looks a lot more chunkier. I don't know, I'm so sorry. I don't have a pair of Crocs to compare them with. I mean, I do have my old ones, but those are not clogged. So these bags are detachable right here. I'm gonna undo that. And I guess, yeah. So right now you're looking at the pair without this stash bag or whatever you call it. And this is how I'm gonna wear it realistically because I don't want this. I'm not gonna put something in my pockets and have them at my feet. So the Crocs is like a proper one piece rubber molded EVA kind of thing going on. And on top, they're stitched on this nylon fabric. This has this very utilitarian, you know, this army kind of a vibe to it, which I love. And this also doubles up like a pocket so I can essentially put stuff in here. For example, this knife, let's see. 
Yeah, it goes in there. Wow. And there are no real differences between the left and the right place. The same thing, you have this utility sack or a backpack that's strapped onto the heel. I have also seen it in pictures strapped onto the front. So let's try that out now. Right, see? You can also strap it on because you have those straps right there. You can clip it around it and you have this bag right there on your forefoot. You know, Crocs are quite basic on comfort. The important thing is they have enough sufficient grip especially when you're walking in the rain and all of that stuff. Another interesting bit about this back strap is that it's got Velcro. So although you can just slide it on and off, uh, if you even want to adjust how far it goes or how tight it gets, you have this Velcro strap right there. So I'm looking at the branding of this pair. So obviously it's primarily Crocs, so you're gonna see a lot more Crocs. You have Crocs mentioned right there on the back of your strap right here. And also, on this inner clasp right there. The only beams branding that I see is on the other side, you know, on your lateral side. And that carries over to both the pairs actually. Yeah, so on the outside you have your beams button, on the inside you have Crocs, and then you have Crocs everywhere else. What I personally feel is that this is more of a beefed up sole than I've seen on earlier Crocs. Uh, one thing I completely miss telling you about this collection is that they made two ranges. One was military and one was outdoor. Uh, the outdoor one is obviously got more utility pockets and zippers and all of that. And this one, as you can clearly tell, is inspired by the military vibe. You have that tactical vest kind of thing going on right there. So I'm now actually gonna slip these on feet outside, not indoors, because the reason I bought them is so that I can actually walk and it's raining and it is raining right now. So that was it. Man, this feels good. I don't know. I won't really wear socks unless I'm driving around. If I'm walking, like if I'm going to the gym, I'm not wearing any socks. Another thing I noticed while I was trying them on feet is that, you know, your regular clocks, <laughs> your regular Crocs clogs have these outlets right here through which the water goes through. And that exists on this pair too. Although it's been stitched over right here. There are these two tiny vents right here. I don't think water is going to really pour out of them. It might just trickle out though, because I can see a slight gap. I don't think I can, you can even get that on camera. Right, so I'm going to shine my flashlight and you can probably see those two areas through which that light just ever so lightly shows through. You see? But yeah, in terms of comfort, it's the same as any other pair of Crocs. If you own a pair of Crocs, you know how it rides. And in terms of sizing, go through the size. This one's between a 42 and a 43. I wear like a 42.5 and that's about it you guys let me know what you think about this cool cool pair of crocs in the comments are you haters of the crocs or do you love what they're doing if you haven't noticed ever since 2020 crocs has been blowing up i think their shares have reached their highest ever they've had collabs with justin bieber post malone I think even with Palace last week, this pair when I saw it and the fact that my old Crocs were totally beaten up, I had to get them man, they're just so good. Thank you for staying all the way till the end. I hope you guys had fun with this review. Make sure to leave a comment with your thoughts and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.